Margaret Dabrowski is a 911 dispatcher from New Britain, and she is the Vice President of Local 222 um, of the United Electrical Radio and Machine Workers of America, which has been a strong champion of Medicare for All nationally as well. So, Margaret, would you like to go in? Hi, my name is Margaret. I, like you said, I've been a 911 dispatcher for approximately almost 23 years in the city of New Britain. I've also been a member of UE. I'm the vice president of the local 222 in Connecticut. Um, if you didn't know, our union has been supporting a single payer Medicare for all model for healthcare since about 1943. Okay, we understand, yeah, it's been a long time. We understand that healthcare should not be tied to your employment, should not be tied to your marital status like a lot of places are. If you're married and you get divorced, you lose your health care. Should not be that. We should not have to spend so much money on health care. I myself had just experienced an injury two months ago. I had to wait approximately four weeks out of work to get an MRI so I can go back to work. I just got my brace. It's been four weeks since I ordered my brace and I got my brace. We should not have to deal with this. We have people calling in 911. They're afraid to be taken by ambulance to the hospital. They just want a medic to look at them because they can't afford the hospital bill. They can't afford the ambulance bill or they wait until they're seriously ill to call for an ambulance. They don't go to the doctor because they can't afford the co-pays. They can't afford the bills. You know, I just had a little, I was in therapy today and I listened to a therapist talking to a client and the client says, you know, my doctor authorized 30 more visits. And the therapist said, well, that doesn't matter what your doctor authorized it matters what your insurance company will approve and is willing to pay. In a country like ours, we, it's shameful that we spend so much money on so many things wars in other countries and everything and that people here are dying because they cannot get health care i it, it's just inconceivable like i said we deal with this every day as a 911 dispatcher i deal with people in crisis all the time and they it's shame it makes me want want to cry because people just can't go to the doctors i have a four thousand dollar deductible which means i have to pay four thousand out of pocket before anyone in my family gets coverage on top of the premiums I pay. You know, you can negotiate with your doctor, you can get payments and stuff. You can't negotiate with CVS when you want your medication and it costs eight or $900 and they want that money up front. My brace was $700. I had to pay that up front today. Like I said, there needs to be change. There needs to be change in this country for that. Thank you.